Welcome back to Projects on Board. It's so Rondir and today today we are running dry on just about everything. I've got a couple of pipe wrenches, maybe a small hand axe or two, there you go, crowbar, and a handful of pretty rundown weapons in our base. So I think first things first today what I would like to do is head back to our main home, clear out whatever weapons we've got down there, and then take a pretty risky trip back up here. We're going to leave the truck behind. Could do without the added noise. And I would also like to see what mess we've actually left behind us. So a couple of days ago, whether you missed it or not, there was a helicopter. That helicopter kind of caused a whole lot of chaos on our little trip back, basically. Didn't really do much for us when we were down there. We got, well, we got quite a few groups, to be fair. But not as bad as it could have been, which was nice. But coming back to the theatre... Headed around the outskirts, we've kind of just seen the relentless amount of Zeds between us and home. I'm not really looking forward to that. What I am looking forward to is dropping a tiny bit of weight and snacking on a granola bar. Good bit of brekkie to start the day. Perfect. But yeah, the amount of Zeds between us and home doesn't look too, too ideal, really. Doesn't really look too clever. But hopefully, fingers crossed, once we get past this place, straight past the dawn, should be smooth sailing. So with the amount of fire, shotgun shells, and just a ridiculous amount of weapons I've gone through, it should be all oh, sunshine and rainbows, really. But as you can see, it is not. Let's just try and skip through. Hopefully. Oh, what's that? Nothing. Just a weird... Weird little capture in the corner of my eye. This area looks pretty good though, which is nice. Might just try and deal with whatever mess we've dragged with us. Get on, folks. Let's start the day right. Good old clean, fresh-shaven Diego. Not quite fresh-shaven, but pretty clean cut. He's looking better than me, and he's living in the apocalypse. So you gotta give him, gotta give him some props for that. Oh, what a beauty! Bring gifts to us already. Could not appreciate you more, my friend. Just gotta remember where he is. If we can take him down near a car or something, just so it's a nice little nice little hotspot for us to go back to. Easy place to remember. Get him on. There we go. Just by the car as well, perfect. Alright, old purple Okay, I'll take that back. I was gonna say purple shirt's gotta be next. But it wasn't. It's the old black shirt tell you what, I think this is the way that I keep just constant kill and run so interesting. Let's just make little games out of it. Try and figure out when you're going to take them out by. Figure out who's next. Count your swings off. Also helps massively to learn how many swings it will take per level, per weapon. It's kind of crazy how quickly you can pick it up too and prepare yourself for a fight, even without being in the fight, if that makes sense. Every, every day is a school day, as they say. Every day is a school day, especially for you, my friend. Oh, especially for us. What well, a time to level up. All right, where was old hunting knife man? There she be. Thank you, sir. Time to get ourselves back home. Man, I've missed this place. Stupid amount of gear down there, too. Oh, look at that. we got a machete we left behind. A couple of baseball bats. Starting to think I should have just unloaded something. But yeah, whilst we're here, we may as well just stock up on absolutely everything valuable. Maybe leave the cleavers and stuff behind. I'll take an axe. Don't like how overweight we are. Grab the extra hunting knives. Maybe we take the cleavers. We can use that for spears. And yeah, the rest of it can probably stay. We just need something to get us through whatever mess we need for now, basically. 19 weight. Not really ideal. Not ideal at all, actually. So I have one more piece of chocolate. Don't know whether it's worth maybe coming around behind the dorm. Probably not. Let's just go the way we came. It's probably the safest bet. Can we take any of this? Baseball bat. Probably not a good idea, but screw it. We'll be fine. We'll see how we go. We can always dump the bag if need be. 
Uh, I might just rest before we go too far. Shouldn't be too tired, too exhausted, but it's better to be pretty smooth sailing straight off the bat at least, eh? Get on, my lady. Yeah, this is why these trips are just dangerous. That tiny bit has just, like, knocked us down a ton as well. Wonderful. Probably head out front. Definitely going to be less tax than hopping at all of these fences. All right, let's make a move. Fingers crossed we make it back in one living, uncut piece. We actually did quite well. I haven't turned around yet to see what mess we've actually got with us, but I think I maybe picked up two or three Zeds. Hopefully we can just squat on this. Can't hear anything. I can see a few. <laughs> Nothing too crazy there. Come on, fellas. Leave the windows alone. Let's do this. Question is now, though. Where do we start? Kind of tempted to just go and get some more planks. There's a whole lot of picket fences around there that need clearing out. And with the extra weapons, we could always just clear out a few Zeds whilst we're around there. Which would be a big old win. Let's take as many of those as we can. Have one of them for now. And leave the rest. Wouldn't mind finding a tap either. Running pretty dry on the old waterfront. There we go. Much better. Two almost full bottles. Nice. Not exactly what we're hoping for, but I'll take it. Gotta take what you can get these days. Right, let's go grab that bag, get it unloaded, and see what we're left with. The machete is the biggest, biggest bonus from all of it, I think. Cannot go wrong with that. Might worth just building a crate, actually. Get our weapons crate in. Yeah, go on, why not? But yeah, before we go too mad, we do also need to find a generator. I do have one. The annoying thing is, it's miles away in a very deadly part of town. Wonder if I marked it on the map. Of course not. Don't think there's one up there. Pretty sure there's one down here. Question is, how do we get there? How did she get there? Alright, where's the duffel bag gone? We need that back. Hang on. Ah, we're right there. <laughs> Just buried beyond the door that we couldn't see it. Thought I was losing my marbles a bit. But now nah, we're good. I reckon this is gonna be this is gonna be weapons hub. That can be everything else basically. Shift whatever we got straight in there. We got quite a few cleavers in there. And the rest. Kitchen knives, all sorts. Starting to think I should have grabbed some what'd you call it, so uh strips of duct tape. But that's fine. We'll figure that out later. For now, though, we're looking pretty good. We are looking tired, so I'm probably just going to spend the night here. Keep it easy. Start today nice and fresh. Yeah, I'll see you on the other side. I've had a nice tin of vegetable soup. The sun is shining. It's a beautiful new day. Good old Forest Cobb's adventure. I think, yeah, head around here. Take out whatever we can take out. I definitely should have brought the machete over the baseball bat, but I'll take it. Probably a good time to actually start leveling up the long blunt. We've got three brand spanking new bats. We haven't used any of them yet. And we also have a ton of nails to turn those into spike bats, which I'm very excited for. Spike bat is hard to beat. Whatever this contraption is, is also hard to beat. Look at the bolts in the head of it. wonder what it is. Just a baseball bat. Just a baseball bat. Come on, fellas. I am ready for you. We're currently level zero in Long Blunt. That needs to change. That's going to change today. Come on, folks. I wish we had the workshop just so I could build the old... Uh, what's it called? Barbed wire bat. That's good fun. We would also need a cordless correct drill, but we can cross that bridge when we get there. There we go. Now we're talking. So I think Long Blunt and the Axe skill are two that pretty desperately need to be worked on. But the ones we have are actually doing quite well. 
quite impressed with the variety of weapons we've had to use this run. It's been exciting. It's definitely been enough to keep me on my toes, that's for sure. And it's been a hell of a long time since we've sunk our teeth into short plants. I've missed those bad boys. The pipe branch is just a force to be reckoned with. It really is. The M16 also sounds like a force to be reckoned with. Fortunately for us, it's also a bit of a death sentence. Wonder if we had a generator in here. Of course not, that'd be way too easy. Couple of boxes of nails though. Take those all day long. Come on. <laughs> Don't know why it keeps doing that lately, but it's driving me insane. Alright. That fence down there was going to be the one that I was going to take today. But... In light of recent events... Probably not. It's probably worth just chilling in one of these houses and waiting for a bit. Wonder if we can get any good food. No, we did get a flashlight though. Result. That gets us one of those big old flashlights on a stick. Great start to the day. Alright, well, whilst we're just trying to kill time, I'm going to work my way through this house. Let's get everything cleared out and ready to be disassembled. I love this game. <laughs> so I do desperately need to get that level 5 carpentry book read as well. We're very close to leveling up. I reckon this house could probably be the icing on the cake for it. Sorry, dog food. We do not want you. What we got? 5860. Close. Very close. I reckon this one could do it. Nah, not quite. Maybe one double bed away. Fingers crossed they've got a double bed. That's going to be a single, and it's already gone. That's the one we took for the house. There you go. Small world, eh? What a beauty. Have we got the carpentry book on us? No, of course not. It'd be way too easy. Still, though. I'll take it. Another rope. Might be worth just heading back and building one of those posts for now. Do you know what I mean? We're going to be waiting out some time for a bit anyway, just for the Zeds to sort of calm down. Yeah, let's go do that. I think all we need is two planks. Let's get them in our main main inventory. Lamp on pillar. Question is, where do we want it? Guess we can start with it over here. Oh, look at that. so good. It's a shame we can't just click it on, but that's going to make life so much easier. I love the lamp on a pillar. That's wonderful. You, my friend, you've just made my day. <laughs> one simple little lamp. Ridiculous. Well, at least we've got that, though. That's, that's one extra thing. Well, one less thing to worry about. Do also have a carpentry book to read. I'm going to get that done now. It's been a long time coming, and I've been itching to sink my teeth into it. Let's do this. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're down to the last few pages. Any minute now, we're going to be a carpentry king. What a beauty. We're one step closer to smashing this out and becoming the true carpentry god that we know we are. I'm so ready for it. Let's smash out some chocolate. Crack down on some smokes and go finish up the rest of whatever's left of today. Probably clearing out a few zeds. It's getting a bit too common these days. Ah, that was a big accident. <laughs> I reckon we switch out to the bat. Can we lose the hammer and saw? Yeah, boy. Yeah, buddy. Come on, fellas. That's what we need. More of those big old one swings. Crack him in the head. Lovely. That is exactly what we want. One more big one for you. Crazy how quickly you can get good for these. Well, crazy how quickly these become powerful. Do you know what I mean? Level level one. We're already getting some meaty one swings. I wonder if we've got any weapons there at all. Doesn't look like it. No annotated maps. Nada. You coming over too? Beautiful. That little bonk that it makes as well is wonderful. Louisville map, Louisville map, 
Lots and lots of Louisville maps. Take an extra pack of 20 just in case. It's crazy how many people kicked it with smokes on them. It probably wouldn't be too dissimilar to real life, would it? Ah. There's one. There's two. There's three. You're going to ruin it all, aren't you? Even still. Pretty damn smooth. Now I'm gonna try and pull a sneaky. Sorry, my lady. You too, friend. Ah, okay. Guess we're gonna have our hands full with this house. One down. Here comes another. And another one just over the fence, too. Sweet. What up, my party people? There we go. Nice. Any more for any more. There's definitely someone inside this house. Maybe worth just jumping in and checking it out. It's also a good chunk of food there as well. Nice. Kind of glad we got all of that. Oh, hello. Beautiful little being. Shame to see you go. Definitely take that battery now. We've got a use for them. Uh, nothing else by the looks of it. Nothing else too crazy anyway. Should we start clearing some fences and see how quickly we can get to level 9? Or should we walk the fence first and start from the bottom? We'll play the safe game out here. Made one too many mistakes in this town so far. I do not want to keep adding to that list. Just notice we've just got into September. Time is flying. Already a month down. Probably closer to two months, to be fair. Yeah, already two months down. Ridiculous. See, initially I didn't really care too much for this character. Didn't really have a lot of hope for him. It was kind of just cannon fodder. But now we're this far. Kind of, kind of getting a big old love for him. Uh, is there anything we can lose? Don't really want to lose that, or any of that for that matter. So it's very, very quickly becoming a tank, and I didn't really expect it. It's been a bit of a combat king. Don't really have a lot of survival skills, but I guess you got to take what you can get. And he is absolutely making the most of all the skills that he's got. Come on, folks. Okay, if we're going to lose him, it's going to be in this fight. Now that I've just, like, poured my heart out for him. Oh, it's going to be right before we get that machete. Fingers crossed, eh? <laughs> yeah, man. Easy does it. Just gotta keep them, keep them jiving, keep them moving and grooving. Here we go. They should all start dropping like flies now. You're gonna be the first. You're the second. Okay, maybe not. Maybe now. There's one. There's two. There's three. Of course. Oh, that would be way too easy otherwise. Get out of here, you too. I want that hopeful machete. Guarantee it's a bread knife, but keep my hopes up. They are higher than ever right now. That tip just looks a little bit too pointy. Stay down, boy. Okay, what we got? One nightstick, take you all day long. Handful of shotgun shells. Again, add those straight to the roster. A bread knife, you joking. Don't know what I expected anymore. I really don't. It's a sad life out here sometimes. At least we're safe enough to just rest in this little plastic chair. Let's head on back down. Hopefully the group's gone. As you can see, we're beginning a new day. So I came down and we ended up with a whole lot of Zeds. So I thought it'd just be nicer to clear them all out. In doing so, we did level up this beauty.
We've finally hit level 6 strength. Level 6 fitness, on the other hand, is a whole other story. But over-encumberedness is a thing of the past. With our new found 14 carry weight, that should... Ooh. Please be the dorm. That's good enough for me. Where I think he was hiding out. Saw him here, no bite, but had the fever. We probably need to be tooled up. I'm tooled up. I'm always tooled up and ready to go. I think that becomes the quest for the next episode. Hopefully there's some good things down there. If we can find a big axe, that would be, that'd be worth literally everything. It makes this entire quest ten times more worth it. But yeah, so far so good. Another big old group too. But yeah, we leveled up strength. We broke our spiked bat, which is the one we're using right now. Luckily enough, we had some duct tape, so I did get the instant repair straight on. Dream come true, I know. How often do we actually have repair kits on us when we need it? It's a rare sight. And we're very, very close to level 2 on this bad boy. It's coming along well. We've had a pretty good couple of days. So I did bring a backup spike back with me. So once this does break, we can just hop straight onto that and yeah, carry on the grinding. I reckon we'll be pretty close with like the next three swings. One, two, three. Ah, so close. Where are the beta blockers? There they are. And they're not going to over encumber us. Right, how close are we? Maybe ten swings away. One, two. We didn't get that kill. That would have been a 10. <laughs> what a beauty. Look at the one swings that follow, man. Dream come true. Dream come true. Come on, folks. I'm kind of hoping, though. Once this group is cleared, we should just be able to work through those picket fences. should help us push to our next level of carpentry and it should just about probably double our plank amount which would be lovely. I don't know why I keep tripping over my words today. You don't want to get exhausted do you? No, no you don't. And we've got nowhere to rest. Classic. Ah, one we're not paying attention at all. One big bonk. Can we get a second big bonk? How about a third? For a lovely lady in the black dress. Ah, she's strong. We can, however, get a fourth for old Greeny. See you, fella. All right, we need water and rest. This house is going to provide. There's box number one ticked off. Fingers crossed. Don't know where that was from. There's a bottle of bleach on the floor, however. Got someone in here doing themselves a mischief. Brown sugar, you can do for today. How are we looking for weight? Pretty good. Pretty good. How nice would that be if there was just a lovely little cordless drill in there? One day. One day. Maybe it was out of this window. Ah, yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. I don't think we're starting from this bottom end. I reckon we just need to cut our losses and... Can we get one more? Yes, we can. I think we need to start from up here. I reckon that's going to be the best way to do this. Otherwise, we're going to be here all day. Pretty much have been here all day. We haven't gained a single plank, but we have got ourselves a whole lot closer to freedom. Freedom, happiness, and wonderful weapons. And some good skills. No, I'm itching for a base work episode, but these have also been quite fun too. <laughs> Our character's come a long way ever since we tried to take on that theatre. Come yeah, on, fellas. Santa knife will never let me down. Until it does, and that'll be a very sad day. Come yeah, on, folks. That does mean we can dump that bat, though. It's been repaired once. Not really any point doing it again. I will see what it takes, but... 
repair, 25% for the duct tape, the rest are pretty pointless. You can take that, I'll grab Old Reliable. Not quite as strong, but still a good one. Tell you what, let's just do it. Keep our head on a bit of a swivel. Mainly for that Z down there that's disappeared. Nice. Wonder if. Oh, we can. Get out of here, boy. Oh, I would not recommend doing this in a place that you know is still pretty full of Zeds. I won't lie to you, but if you're in a nice sealed off area, like anywhere in Rosewood, or that's pretty much all I can think of with nice picket fences. <laughs> if you're anywhere around there, couldn't recommend it more. Down here, a little bit ropey, but it is great for the carpentry skill. What are we getting? 1548. 1600. Yeah, you're getting like 52 points a time. It's a bit of a no-brainer, as long as you are safe. If you're not, it's a little bit sketchy. We I mean, have just gained a whole bunch of planks, though. Almost at the top, and we're a tiny bit nauseous. Be worth finishing this up, though, I reckon. Without question. Hopefully without too many more Zeds. Let's just get her done. 97% chance. Ridiculous that this is all I've wanted to do all day, isn't it? Come on, just one chin stab. Thank you. Thank you, Zomboid Gods. Should we finish her up? Now, I'm not too sure just how many we've gained, but the sunsets, early September, just coming into autumn, are absolutely gorgeous. Can't beat them. Can't fault them. Can't even... Just can't grumble at all. Do you know what I mean? It's wonderful. I think it's time for bed though. Wouldn't mind gathering all of these up tomorrow, but I think I'm just going to keep digging my way through, clearing out as many as we can, and then bring the truck down once we're ready to just go full, full haul. I don't really know where to start, is my only trouble. We have got the light in there now, which is wonderful, but whether we start down here or start upstairs is a whole other question. One that I'm still yet to decide on. So, yeah, maybe get your comments in. Let me know what you would probably prefer. I'm a little bit set on down here, but, yeah, if you, you guys have a preference, please let me know. I'm going to get some sleep. I'll see you guys in the morning. I think what I would like to do before I love you and leave you, though, is just get this base somewhat fortified. Even just those front windows. So we're not quite going to go all out just yet. And, you know, full full bar it but I think just getting these boarded up is a good enough start it's just one two three and a four guess we do start with the broken ones yeah that's probably all I'm gonna do for now to be fair might take one quick trip around the front and clear out any Zeds and then tomorrow we could always do a full fortifications video it's been a while since I've done one of those be a shame to just squeeze it into the back end of back end of just a relentless, ridiculous day. Alright, what else we got? A whole bunch of Zeds. Only a handful down here. Let's make home safe. It's gotta be a top priority. I spy a little sneaky hunter knife in there. Come on, fellas. Kind of excited to see what that annotated map delivers, though. Haven't quite made it down to that part at all yet, so exciting times of wait. We're a couple of Zeds over here, too, aren't there? Hello, hello. My, 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 what have we here? I can hear a screamer. And one big bump. I reckon the rest can just cluster around as they see fit. Let's head back. And I reckon 
I reckon it's probably a good time to call it a day. Otherwise, we're going to keep looking for little tasks to do forever. But yeah, I'm going to love you and leave you just there. Thanks for watching. Massive thanks to members supporting the channel. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed. Hopefully, stick around for the next one. Peace.